what the? Alrighty guys, Mark Delami here with another unboxing for you guys today. And this time I got this fig pin exclusive. This is from the Infinity Saga Hall of Armor Deluxe Box Set 2024 Edition. This thing does look pretty badass, but the only reason why I got this one was trying to get that chase. Fortunately, I did not get it. That chase is awesome. I mean, the details kind of suck because it's all blue, but they glow in the dark, which I would take over non-glow any day. So we're going to go ahead and do a quick unboxing to see if this set is worth picking up. Let's get started. All right, now that I got everything out the wrapping, so we got this nice title right here, the Infinity Saga. We got the Marvel Studios logo there, the Fig Pin logo here, and you can actually feel it. They did a pretty good touch on this. And so here are the fig pins you're getting in this set. So this is the back of it. Iron Man armors right there, which it shows you here, right there, all the different, like we got Iron Man Mark One, all these good ones. We got the Hulkbuster, which is cool. I like the Hulkbuster one. And here's the front of it. All right, let's keep going. And each box set comes with an exclusive fig pin logo that matches the box set that you're getting, which is cool. Even the Chase one had a glow in the dark one, which is awesome. But here's this one. Looks like a little bit of an Iron Man going on there. And we got these little magnets, which is always nice touch. Okay, ooh, we got the red and the Avengers logo right there. I was gonna say title. And here are the fig pins right here. Look at that. Let's take them out. Okay. They all do come with um, the plastic slip covers which is good in case you want to display them outside the box, which are in this right here. And let's take this guy out. So here's a little back card right there. Look at that. That's kind of cool. I don't like how they took off the artwork here. They just made it easier for you to figure out how to use the uh, Figpin app, which sucks because I did like how it was all art everywhere. And right there. The detail on him, this is pretty cool. Look at that. That's cool, okay. Let's go to the next one. Okay, look at that, with the nice little display cases. Slide this out. So the back card's probably gonna be the same for all of them, just so they all match. And let's take this one out. Look at that. That's a nice pin there, very detailed. Okay, and the next one. This is the one that I'm actually excited about. This one looks the best. The Hulkbuster, he's pretty big which he should be. Move the back card. Get a better look at this. Look at that. Ah, oh, this guy's cool. I wonder which number I got for each of these, but that one's cool. I like this one. All right, let's pop this guy out. Take a better look at him. Okay, this one's cool, look at that. I like all the detail they put on these. They do really good on their pins. I'll tell you what, they do really good. And the last one. Pop him out, take off the back card, get a better look. Oh yeah, look at that. That's really nice, really clean. Loving the detail on there. Very cool. That is the last one. I am gonna scan all of them in the app and we're gonna see what numbers I get. Hopefully I get some really low numbers or I like to get the very last one. That would be pretty cool. Let's find out. Well, there you guys go. That is the unboxing of Figpin Exclusive Hall of Armor Deluxe Box Set 2024 Edition. But...
Is this fake pin set worth picking up? I would say if you're a big Iron Man fan or a big thick pin collector, then it's definitely worth picking up. Me, I like Iron Man, but he's not my favorite character, so I only picked this up to try to pull the chase. And this is going for 115 bucks plus shipping, which is pretty crazy. They did raise the prices a while ago, but paying 115 bucks plus just to pull a chase is crazy. I get it, they're still trying to figure out how to do things. Uh, whoever got the chase, that's awesome, I'm happy for you. That's really cool and I'm super jealous. That's the one I was trying to get. But this is still a nice set. Not worth 115 bucks and definitely not worth trying to pull a chase off of it. So I would say if you need to get it, get it before it sells out. Or if it doesn't sell out and you're not sure about it, I'll wait till it hopefully goes on sale because that's pretty crazy, at least to me. But I don't know what you guys think. Did you pick this up? Did you pull that chase? And what do you think about this fig pin set? Is it worth picking up to you? Let me know in the comments. And if you like this video or like these fig pins, go ahead and click the like. If you guys want to see more videos, go ahead and subscribe. Make sure you turn on those notifications so that way you don't miss out on any upcoming videos or giveaways that I do. And for all other things that I post, check them on their social networks, like my Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. I'll leave the link to those in the description. As always, thanks for watching. Until next time.